What's going on guys? Back at it again with another Fallout 4 video. In this one, if everything goes according to plan, I am hoping to finish all of Tinker Tom's little side quest uh, shenanigans, if you will. The uh, weather, uh, weather vane um, quest line, which is essentially just the side quest here within the railroad. Um, I'm hoping to finish it. We are on the last little bit of stretch, I think. At most, we have like four more to go. And if that's the case, we will most likely be finishing it in this video, of course, uh, if, if everything goes according to plan. But at best case scenario, we could probably do two and we'll finish. So we will see once uh, we cross that little hurdle. But for now, do me a huge favor. Drop a like on this video. Also, subscribe to the channel if you're not already subscribed because it really does help this channel grow. So with that being said, let's go ahead and get started. All right, let's see here. Um, we have this weather vane set up me, uh, Mila at uh, Bass uh, Medical or whatever. If I remember correctly, this place has uh, a lot of uh, gunners, so it could be difficult. Let me do a quick count uh, really quick. Damn, dude, I got a lot of Creation Club stuff here. All right, let's see. One, two, three, four, five, six. Uh, so seven. Yep. So seven, nine, ten. 11. Yeah, we have potentially four more to go, uh, including uh, this one right here. So let's go ahead and fast travel to, I suppose, Boston Club, uh, since it's uh, it's right there next to Swan. Uh, but the thing is that this place is generally always by itself, so we wouldn't really have to take on Swan in this video. But we'll see. We'll. It just depends. I kind of hope... Uh, Everything goes according to plan in this video, and we are actually able to finish Tinker Tom's side missions. Because I don't know about you guys, but I'm pretty much ready to move on to a different uh, quest. I just really wanted to finish this uh, quest line for Tinker Tom before I moved on. Uh, this would be video number three, I believe, of solely being dedicated towards Tinkle Tinker Tom's. Tinkle Tom's, <laughs> Tinker Tom's um, little weather vane quests or whatever. Hopefully, uh, we get the best end of the stick and we end up just getting, uh, just finishing this one and one more, and then we potentially finish this quest line. But you never know. We could get all four, cause uh, I think the max that you can get is eleven. Uh, but you can get away with sometimes, uh, like sometimes it just you finish the quest line with ten. But I guess there's a bug where I guess sometimes you can finish the quest line with uh, nine. And if that's the case, we'll have one more to do after this one. Uh, so I don't know. We'll see. We'll see. We will see. Of course, I don't know. <clears throat> the only thing I know is that uh, this place, uh, Mass Bay Medical or whatever, if it's the same place I'm thinking of, uh, this place has a lot of gunners, so... Could be difficult. Oh, what's up, uh, Deacon? Alright, let's go ahead and, uh, get ready to go. Is there any super mutants here? At some point, we should probably come over here, too, and, uh, rescue Kate. Alright, so the good thing is that I think all the super mutants are still dead. Yeah, I think they are. So that's definitely, definitely, definitely a good thing. Alright, let's see here. Um, oh, this guy scared the hell out of me, but it's just a mannequin. We're literally right around the corner from it. Yeah, dude, this is definitely the place I was thinking of. Man, it's so bright I can't see anything. I gotta be careful. Ah, uh, look, there's a guy right here. Oh, fuck. Get out of the way! You know what? Blast away! Um... Oh, 
Oh god. Let's destroy this dude really quick. So we can focus our fire. Oh shit. What about this thing? 69? Yes, please. No! Alright, we gotta destroy this thing. That thing would be deadly to us. Alright, we'll go for the body and hopefully we get a critical. There we go. Donskis. It's because it was easy, Deacon. It was easy. Alright, let's go ahead and, of course, heal because... I mean, let's be real. We kind of have to. Fuck you. Alright. I kind of want to clear everybody in here first. Shouldn't the weather vane be upstairs? I wonder why it's still telling me that I have to go inside. Unless it's one of those things where I have to go all the way to the room. I think it might be. So let's go ahead and go down. Come on, Deacon. We have to go inside. Luckily, it's just an interior, so it's not gonna be, uh, it's not gonna be that bad. Although, the interior for this place is slightly bigger than, uh, some of the other places, of course. Alright, so, um, the good thing about this is that gunners, alright, so the bad thing is that gunners typically uh have a lot of numbers the good thing is that uh well they have a lot of numbers and they uh hold up really so they have a lot of numbers and they're pretty tactical in their in their in their uh shooting and stuff the good thing for us is that uh god i can hear a freaking thing uh an assaultron oh shit speaking of assaultrons oh no oh no that did nothing i'm dead oh this is gonna be bad So what I need to do is uh, take advantage of that gunner that's downstairs, the first one we killed, and get as much um, crit as possible. Otherwise, I'm screwed. Come on, baby. Come on, let me, let me get this. Oh, this is going. Oh, fuck. Run away. Please stop. Well, I got lucky there. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. I'm screwed. I'm stuck. Oh no, I can't move! That's some bullshit. Alright. So this is going to be extremely difficult. I'm actually tempted to just run for it. Because that Assaultron is insanely difficult for some stupid reason. Um. Yeah, fuck it. That Assaultron is going to be a pain in my ass. Do I have a Stealth Boy? Uh, it'll be under 8 in Fallout 4, right? Come on, bait. Yes, I have a stealth boy. Sorry, Deacon. You're on your own, buddy. Oh, God, I'm nervous. No, it's not over here. Wait a minute. There is a man of one minute here. Here, let me uh, pick lock. Lockpick this because I want his uniform. 
and his money. All right, let's go ahead and quick save here. Fuck it, just in case. Well, my stealth point, uh, stealth boy went away. I'm legitimately nervous. Maybe I should, uh, hack this terminal. It'll help us. All right, let's try again. Oh God, man, I swear for me, it's literally the, the guessing game. I've always hated these things, dude, so I don't even care. All right, activate units. All right, we got a friend. All right, let's go ahead and quick save again. Quick saving is going to be our best friend here because that freaking Assaultron is, uh, frankly speaking, on another level. Can I continue going upstairs? What's going on here? All right, uh... Crap. How do I go higher? Oh, here we go. All right, let's go ahead and take another stealth boy, dude, because this could go extremely bad at any point in time. All right, how do I get over there? It looks like there's, oh, oh shit. Who's there? All right, let's, let's just try this real quick. Oh, fuck, there's multiple. Um, wait, is there a way through here? Um, area not secure. Hold on. Repeat. How do I get area out of here? Not secure. I'm screwed. Deacon. Hostile. You moron, Deacon. We made it too. Oh, Deacon is so screwed. So am I. Come on, push the button, damn it. Alright, at least we're hidden again. Hopefully he doesn't follow us out here. Thank God for those freaking stealth boys, huh? Come on, buddy. Looks like we got a freaking super long elevator ride. There we go, we made it. You know, running away is always an option. Um, get, Deacon, get the hell out of the way. Well, at least now that we made it. Oh no. Um. Let's go. Oh no, he's getting in the freaking thing, isn't he? He got in the freaking thing. Luckily we can this is oil. Oh, oh, oh fuck. Um let's try to go for a headshot. We got him. Oh, you're done. This is workout. The good thing is that I don't need T45 power armor anyway, so I'm not really too worried about it. Um, and also, I don't really want to pick up anything at this moment. So for now, let's go ahead and continue making our way up. Let's see here. This way? Well, I know there's a hollow tape here that's kind of sad. Here, I'll uh, play it. Wayne, I'm leaving this message with Marcy in case you come looking for me. Though I pray you don't. The military took over the hospital, and everything's gone to hell in the city. Things here, they're, 
It's bad, Wayne. People are dying every day. And most of the time, all we can do is watch and try to make them comfortable. One of the other nurses told me she heard a radio signal that sounded like you and the boys. I don't know if it's true. If you're still out there. But we've got a way out. And I'm going to try to find you. That's sad, man. That really is sad. It, it's heartbreaking, dude, because you can tell they love each other. I hope in the end, sometimes I like, I'll listen to a hollow tape or read a terminal, and uh, I would hope that it would end up the way they wanted to. You know what I mean? Like in this specific situation, I kind of wish and hope that at some point in time they ended up reuniting. And that it felt so good. So the good thing is, we should be at the roof. The bad thing is, I think there's more enemies up here. So we'll see. It shouldn't be too difficult, so regardless. Oh man, this elevator ride is long AF. Oh my god, dude. This is insane in the membrane. Well, what the developers do is uh, to mask or hide loading screens. They'll do stuff like this, like elevator rides or they'll make like a maze-like uh, map where it's loading before you even hit the corner. You don't see it happening, of course, because you're on like a little hallway. So by the time, like when you're at the beginning of the hallway, it's already loading the next corner. So by the time you hit the corner, it's already loaded in. Yeah, so this is this is definitely a loading screen that's going on right now, so it's taking forever for the game to load right now. We should probably, as soon as we, uh, well, I guess it doesn't really matter, because as soon as we, um, fast travel back to, uh, Railroad HQ, what will eventually happen is, well, well, it, like, auto-saves right be, like, as soon as you fast travel, the moment you fast travel, it saves right there. So that way, like, if something was to happen, like the game crashes or something, you could always load into the spot you were before you fast traveled. It could be annoying at times, though, because, um, like, if you die shortly after that, you would have to reload all the way back to where you previously were, then fast travel to your new location. So it, it does have its downside, but I do appreciate the fact that that feature is in Fallout 4. There we go. Alright. Or maybe there isn't any enemies. Where is it? It's right here. Hell yeah, boy! Alright, let's go back to Tinker... Wait, what am I doing? Let's go back to Tinker Tom. So he can tinker his Tom. I mean, what? Tinker Tom is cool, man. I like Tinker Tom. He's a little, like, jumpy and jittery, but I don't know. He's a cool character. I like him. Never met a simp. Desdemona, Desdemona, um, she's kind of bland and boring, to be honest. We got a lot of simps in I even like Drummer Boy better than her. <laughs> What's up, Tinker Tom? You know. Trust me. Okay, Fine. great. The latest atmospheric reading from the new Mila is still inconclusive. We'll catch the institute. You got the time? I got another site we could place another one of my babies. Yep. I do have the time as a matter of fact. Oh, let's do some time. No. Um let's go fast travel. Where is this new place? Let's see, uh Commonwealth Bank. This one I think is easy. Oh dude, that one would have been hard to find. Um Let's just go to the old North Church and we'll literally just run there.
the other option would have been to go to Fain, Fain, uh, Fainiel Hall or however you pronounce that I'm not entirely sure uh, yeah going there or whatever but the problem is that that place is, in, com is completely infested with super mutants so it can be uh, pretty difficult oh the Chinese belt suit is pretty badass man this came with creation club but it's like a, a really cool throwback to Fallout 3, man. Because that wasn't Fallout 3. Uh, more specifically, I want to say it was the uh, Operation Anchorage DLC. I have a lot of memories with Fallout 3, man, to be honest. I don't like the feet, though. The feet... The, like the boots or whatever you want to call them they're they look ugly dude yeah why do they look metallic i don't know chinese technology i suppose and i just realized this i'm almost level 22 hopefully this is the the last mila situation that we have to do you know what i mean because if that's the case, um, we're pretty much done with uh, with the railroad for now, of course. Oh, crap. There goes Faneal Hall, I believe. Is it on the roof of this place? Wait, what is this? What is this called? Um, it's on Commonwealth Bank. I... Fuck, dude. Um... Hold on, I think, I think it's over here. No, it's not here, is it? Ah, oh, crap, I'm not entirely sure. Let's just try it. Oh, fuck. Oh, no. Leave me alone! Oh, come on. Shoot, damn it! I hate it when it does that. There we go. It almost completely screwed me over, too. Oh, no. Let's go ahead and go up. I swear, I'm already running out of stim packs. All right, we'll leave it like that, man. We'll just sleep at Railroad HQ. All right. Um. Crap, it's telling me to leave. Can I just continue going up? Is this even the right place? I suppose we'll find out. Either A, I fucked this up pretty bad, or B, I'm right on point. I'm voting for uh, the previous one, as in I messed this up pretty bad. <laughs> I don't know, I just wanted to shoot him. Deacon, how do you get your weapon to go through the wall? It's pretty amazing. Pretty talented. Right through the crack and everything. You got some serious skill, my friend. Best sniper in the Commonwealth. Second only to McCready. Speaking of which, we should probably go say what's up to him at some point. Maybe even recruit him. You never know. Oh my god, this load screen. Alright, there we go. Is it here? Please tell me it's here. Um. Oh, fuck! <laughs> you can't believe. I can't believe. Do I have a... Oh, wait. 
I don't have a power armor. Fuck, dude, I might have screwed myself here. Um, fuck me. Alright, let's load. North end? I think this is the last place that's saved, so I mean, we kind of don't have a choice. I kind of screwed myself. I fell, so I have to load a previous uh, checkpoint. I wasn't trying to fall, man. It just kind of happened. Alright, so where are we at anyways? Oh, this was right before we ever walked inside there. So we have to go in this direction. Let me see. Um, huh. Eh, fuck it. Oh, come on, dude. Why is my accuracy so bad? Oh, no. Come on. Give me... You know what? Did they die? You see where I'm going. Yeah, they all died. Good. Let's do a quick save, because there's a lot of freaking people up here. One with a minigun, I think, too. Well, we'll call it a rocket launcher. All right. Let's go ahead and go into sneak here, because I think we could... Oh, fuck. Um, let's take this dude out first. Oh no. Well, this dude's dead pretty much, so we'll destroy him. Oh no. Come on! Leave me alone! There we go. Oh no. Oh no. The rats. Fucking serious? Don't do this to me. We should. Come on, fucking reload already, damn it. Oh. Oh no. Come on, kill him. Let's get him with the headshot. Oh my god, dude. Let's quick save just in case we need to use a stim pack. I don't really want to use a stim pack, but if I have to, I will. Alright, well, it's definitely here. Come on, babe. What's up, Deaconator? Where'd you go? There you are. So the good thing is that uh, we're doing pretty, we're doing this pretty well. So if I remember correctly, I just have to go to the other side of this and then continue going up. There we go. I remember the first time I did this, I literally went around and I was so confused. I thought it was the wrong building and all kinds of stuff, but it turns out you just had to go to the next elevator. Deaconator, where are you? All right. This should be it. I hope. <laughs> the problem now, though, is that we have to load the exterior. This one should have been easier than what I did, but I ended up going to the wrong place first. I don't know why, but I remember going into that first place that we went to where the bus was. Where we got attacked by those mongrels. Um, but now that I think about it, I think that might have been for a different quest involving a flying boat. <laughs> Without ruining too much of the story. I think that's where it lands. If I remember correctly. I could be wrong though. I could be wrong. Fallout 4, man, is such a good game, dude. People literally uh, talk down about it because they say it's not very RPG-like. I think it is very much RPG-like, just not in the traditional sense. 
But I can understand why, ever like, when the game came out, it was a little controversial, because they kind of uh, took the uh, what what Fallout was and kind of changed it up. Like Fallout Three and Fallout New Vegas was very much RPG like in the traditional sense because they gave you a lot of dialogue options and uh, you know consequences for your actions and stuff like that and. There was multiple ways to approach a situation and everything like that. And well, Fallout 4 does have those types of situations, just not as much. Um, they do have different, uh, I guess, ways you can approach a situation. But it doesn't vary enough from, like, let's say, finishing the game with a railroad... The uh, Minutemen or the Brotherhood of Steel is pretty much the same thing. The only different one is the Institute, which, I mean, isn't a great one, to be honest. It's just, I don't know, the, the Institute's a, not a very good faction, in my opinion. Just my opinion, though. Once I get to a place of no return for each faction, I'm going to... Uh, See, yeah, like I'm gonna basically cut it off and see where you guys would like me to go as far as faction wise goes. We still have a long way to go before that happens, anyways, but would be interesting to see what side I should choose, you know. And if nobody, if you guys don't choose, I'll probably choose myself. Um, but we'll see. We have to get to the point of no return, uh, with all the factions though, first. Before we actually make a decision on which side we should take. Or maybe I should do a hard save. And explore every single one of the options. What do you guys think? I think that would be fun too. And something that I just thought about. I have the Minuteman outfit and I totally forgot to put it on. I do want to put it on. I think... It gives you charisma. Let me see here. Uh, inventory, apparel, uh, Miniman outfit, agility and perception. Yes. So let me see what um, army fatigue, strength and agility. What's the other one? Agility and uh, perception. Yeah, this is better. Yay, we made it. Wait, hold on. Let me uh, check this ammo. All right, good. Let's go ahead and uh, go back to Minutemen HQ. I mean, a Railroad HQ. And take a nap, dude. Because I swear I'm about to die. We'll give it to Tinker Tom first. Um, the Mila. And then we'll take a nap after. And see exactly how many more we have. It's either... We're, it's one of three options. Either we're done after this. Might want to flush your system with Railroad. Um... Either we're done after this, or we have one more, or two more. Everyone's Heads up. All, you Tom's got more goodies and stuff. Ticker Tom. <clears throat> you must not be afraid of heights with all the work on the Mila project. We got the Commonwealth wired up, my friend. I'm big enough to admit it. So the Institute terraforming the planet theory didn't pan out. But with a few modifications, I can see if someone's messing with the tectonic stability of the Commonwealth. Um, is that it? Hold on, let me see if we get another quest. Alright, Hub 360. Alright, so we do have another one. Let me go take a nap. Oh, wait, I need a uh, right away. Do I have right away? I guess there's only one way to find out. Right away. Let's see how much this takes away. Perfect, actually. Let's go level up, actually, while we have an opportunity. Um, let's see here. I could always go with the Mysterious Stranger. That seems like a pretty good idea to me. Or Four Leaf Clover. Each hit in bats now has an even better chance of filling your critical meter. Yeah, fuck it. Why not? Alright, let's take a nap. 
now let's go uh, hub 360 that's literally close to where we were just at um, let's go Park Street Station and then just go east from there shouldn't be too hard hub 360 has super mutants but uh, it's not very hard to get there I don't think is it I know hub 360 is always the place that I always mess up like I always tend to go inside and then I always and then I realize that that's not the actual way to go so if I remember correctly I could be completely wrong it's been so long since I actually played Fallout 4 literally in like a year actually I think it's been like two years since I played it like actually actually played it um, but I want to say uh, you have to actually go inside I mean you don't you don't actually go inside because I always make that mistake if I remember correctly I think there's like stairs I don't know we'll find out once we get there you know I have that exact pit boy uh, it came with the collector's edition or the quote-unquote pit boy edition um, of Fallout 4 many years ago and um, I still have it actually I've actually love that thing dude it's wearable and everything you could put uh phones in there <laughs> you can put phones in there and uh like use the actual pit boy as like a, a second screen almost for your fallout 4 game it's pretty freaking amazing all right cool all right deaconator come on we got somewhere to be what in the hell Oh crap, we got an alien. We gotta get to that crash site. Even if it means Tinker gets to say, I told you so. <laughs> I guess Tinker Tom is a alien conspiracy com conspiracy theorist. That was a little harder to say than I expected, but okay. Alright, let's see here. Hub 360. Pretty sure this is the place with super mutants. Oh wait, we're here. Let's quick save just in case I die. I don't wanna. I don't wanna reload. Yeah, dude, I was right. Um, no, wait a minute. Is it this? Let's try it. I wanna say this is it. I hope at least. Come on, baby. I hope this is the way. It is. I remember now. No, this way. And then there's going to be a door on the left. The only way this isn't the way is if this... Actually, you know what? I think this is the... For the Assaultron. What's her name? Crap, I think it is. Yep, there it goes. Fuck. Alright, we gotta go back outside. Hopefully we don't have to go through a ridiculous load screen since we just walked in. So that means we do have to go inside the Hub 360. Like through the main door. Yeah, sucks. Oh well. It is what it is. This one's not very difficult. Um, it just gets kind of confusing sometimes, in my opinion. The only thing is, um, the super mutants, of course. Especially if I could get through without attracting them, that'll be like the best and most op uh, optimal way to do it right now because super mutants can be pretty tanky all things considering you know these load screens don't help either and we're gonna have to go through another pretty big load screen when we actually get outside of hub 360 
So that sucks. Bum bum bum. <laughs> the funny thing is, <laughs> if we really wanted to, we could we could just li literally toggle clipping, fly up there, and then take off clipping, and <laughs> then we would have to go through the load screen. But I'm not gonna do that at all. <laughs> That'll be funny as hell, though. I've actually never done anything like that in Fallout. Even when I was playing, well, I've never done that period in any game. Um, even when I was like playing it on my own, you know, it's just not really what I do. Like, the most I've ever done is, like, I run out of ammo or something and I give myself some rounds and stuff. But that's really all I've ever done. That's, like, the beauty of playing on PC, though, to be honest. It's, like, you have freedom to play. Like, if you want to give yourself some advantages, you can. Hell, you can even make, your, make it harder for yourself, dude. You can, like, literally reduce your health to one. Where you literally get one shot by anything and everything, you know? There's so many things you could do with console commands. It's pretty freaking amazing, if you ask me. But again, you could also make it super easy, too. Because you can... Like, there's this thing. I, I believe the console command is like, uh, kill all. Where... If you're like overwhelmed, you can literally kill everything, or you can literally toggle God mode, and uh, you're 100% invincible. You have like, I believe you have like unlimited carry weight, maybe unlimited ammo. Uh, I'm not entirely sure. I've never used it before, so I, I wouldn't know. But it's pretty, it's pretty funny, though, because you're literally invincible. Looks like we finally made it out. Maybe I could. There we go. Who's shooting? And why? Looks like Deacon got into it with the freaking super mutants. Alright, let me quick save right here. Just so that we don't have to go through all of that all over again. Uh, I'll take the shotgun shells, why not? It's not like ammo weighs anything in this game. <laughs> Alright, let me see here. There's probably gonna be a dog right here, yep. Um, let's go for a headshot. Oh shit! Where'd you come from, homeboy? You got him. Pretty sure I got him. Uh, let me do two just in case. Alright, good. We just needed one. Alright, let's go ahead and make our way inside now. We should be fine. Um, yeah, I don't see or hear anybody. So let's go ahead and go inside the Hub 360. Luckily, the load screen should be pretty simple. Um, even though it's kind of... A big interior there really isn't anyone in here just one guy on an upper level I think oh thank god I look I saw that that's a DLC well not necessarily a DLC well it is a DLC but it's like a creation club DLC um, all right let's go in here Need the key. oh wait that's not it that's also a Creation Club DLC. So we need to take this elevator. Going down. Second floor. Nope. Second floor. We might have actually gotten away with not fighting that super mutant. I wonder where he was. I couldn't find him. Oh, he's, he's here. This is it. Alright, let's do a quick save just in case. All right, uh, we'll go with the headshot. Is he over here? Oh, fuck. Um, 
Come on, baby. Let me get this. There we go. Nice. Let's see what uh what he has. Rapid gamma gun. And yeah, that can that can come in handy, I guess. Where is he? Here. Oh, he's literally right on top of me. There we go. Done skis. Let's see what homeboy has. Oh, he actually fell. He did us a favor a little bit. Oh, Deacon. You scared the hell out of me, broski. But I think we made it. I think it's right out here. Let's go. I think this leads outside to the roof. And if I remember correctly, there might be another super mutant up here. So we gotta get ready. Luckily, our AP is all the way up. What's up, Deaconator? Yeah, well, judging by the long elevator ride, I'm almost certain this is going outside. Let's make sure we are reloaded. We are. So we can get down dirty. The funny thing is that this weapon really isn't even uh, modified. As a matter of fact, it's not modified at all. It doesn't even have reflex sights. <laughs> That's funny. I wonder if this is the last one. If this is not the last one, we have one more to go. But I don't know where the last one could be, to be honest. Oh my god, game. Hurry up. Should be literally almost done, man. Can't possibly be that much longer. This is a very tall building. <laughs> the tallest building I've ever heard of. We've been in this friggin' elevator for like two minutes. There we go. Let me see. Uh, yep, there is a super mutant. Uh, we'll blast him a few times this way. Now let's get... No. Let's just straight up off him. I'll take that. Thank you very much. Definitely take that. Um, Where's Mila? Right there. Woohoo! Alright, let's go back to Tinker Tom. Hopefully that was the last one. But if it's not, we should have one more to go. But I guess we'll find out right now, right? Locum's Joe Fryer. That's definitely the Creation Club thing. Shut up, Mr. Timms. Oh, we're gonna witness him just jump out of bed. Excuse me. Hey, you missed another <laughs> one of my babies. You didn't kill me, Data. You got the wired up, my friend. I'm big enough to admit it. So the Institute terraforming the planet theory didn't pan out. But with a few modifications, I can see if someone's messing with the tectonic stability of the Commonwealth. Didn't you already say that? I don't think we got another weather vane. Let's see here. Hold on. Um. No, yeah, we're done. We finally completed you got it. Let's... Camera online. The runners are gonna find that very useful. Pam too. Cool. We got a lot of synths in play right now. We literally strengthened the railroad, dude. Hi, Glory. Oh, God. Oh, God, I'm stuck. There we go. Bet you never met a synth before. Get out of my way, Deaconator. 
all right guys but we're definitely gonna call it a video right here right now uh, I'm actually very very happy at the fact that we finally got pretty much everything done for the railroad uh, well at least where there's like a roadblock obviously we can't really continue further until we discover the rail I mean the uh, the Institute of course once we do that then we'll have some more side quests for uh, the railroad so when that point comes we will get to it of course but for now we're definitely done with the railroad so we're probably going to continue on doing something else in the next video uh if you enjoyed this video do me a huge favor drop a like on this video also subscribe to the channel if you're not already subscribed because it really does help this channel grow so with that being said catch you guys in the next one deuces